TV. Science fiction series set on a space station where all sorts of alien races and creatures live together. So we got to be Mimbaris for a day. Uh, this is Gabe, and in case you're wondering what's going on, Gabe is turning me into a Minbari for Babylon 5, which uh, Emma and I are lucky enough to be uh, going on the set of later and appearing in the show as Minbaris. It's an odd process. It feels weird, but uh, it's good. <laughs> And then we'll put his ears down and put the bone on the uh, last bit, last part of the makeup. See, these will be in place then, much lower than his own ears. And I'll follow this guideline. I'm Bill Mooney. I'm Lanier from Babylon 5. So what times do you have to start in the mornings? Uh, today we're lucky, but uh, uh, the poor actors and ourselves have to get here sometimes at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, mm. 4.15. I've suddenly thought, Gabe, do, um, do Mimbari speak English or do they speak some strange alien Yeah, they, they speak English. Speak, that's a shame, because I can do a good line in alien. So do you think Dave and I will be good on the set? Uh, I think he'll be uh, the best. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you're the best you know. <laughs> but don't you go thinking you can drag us off every day. <laughs> uh -huh. This Minbari babe is finished. Come on, honey, we must go. <laughs> okay, and Bruce. We've just sneaked into the corner with Bruce here, who plays John Sheridan. And he's in his new outfit, so what yeah. do you think of your new outfit? Oh, you know I really? love it, I love it. Look at that. <laughs> Fantastic. My favourite colour is black. It's better than it did before, and it's much better. Much classier uniform, I think. Yeah, well, this is our new uh, Rebel uniform. Um, and you all catch up, uh, a lot of things have happened and changed. And, yeah. uh, we're on our own now, so uh -huh. we have our own rank, and we've sort of combined with the uh, ah, styles the of the Mimbari. <laughs> that is us, the yeah. human and the Mimbari have sort of come together in oh, an that's alliance. Good. That's good to hear. Do you like being the commander, then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? <laughs> I'm Richard Biggs. I play Dr. Stephen Franklin. Yeah, Richard, i got to talk to you a minute. My ears have fallen down the side <laughs> of my head here. I slipped you know, do. You know, actually, I don't think you could afford my uh, house call. Actually. I know, you're an expensive man. Yeah, what happens if someone, what happens if you get ill on Babylon 5? <clears throat> it's a good question. There's only one good doctor, and I'm him. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. No, we have a lot of doctors. All right. We have quite a few doctors, and I just, like, head the whole med lab. Right, okay. Yeah. So what sort of stuff have you had to deal with so far? Oh, we've saved numerous lives. <laughs> we've killed off a whole alien species. Um, a lot. Actually, we're sitting around today and we were talking, everybody on the set has been in either a coma, has been either hurt, uh, oh, broken arms, or some guy home. <laughs> so, um, there's, it's busy. It's very right. busy. Right. So are there inter intergalactic diseases out there to be caught? Yes, there are, actually. And uh, we had one last year that wiped out, like I said, a whole species of aliens. And oh. so they're no longer available. What a shame. Yeah, because you had a scene with... Uh, Di the terribly, terribly sad scene with the dying alien, didn't you? Yeah, it? the oh, yeah. good scene, good scene as well. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah. It's one of our aliens now. <laughs> Somebody's deflating. The thing I'm worried about is I can't hear through this. How do you cope with that? Welcome to the club. <laughs> Three years I've been coping with that. Uh, you learn how to read lips and, uh, and fake it as best you can. Now, Jason, you were in uh, Beverly Hills 90210 and Lois and Clark. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. How do you? How do they compare to working on something like this? Because you're um, new this season as well, aren't you? Well, they were. Yeah, I, you know, I got to talk to Emma and Dave about being in the next shot. Um, oh. We need to get you guys in positions. Basically, Jason's going to be coming down the stairs uh, about the middle of the scene, and when he comes down, I'm going to have you guys just ahead of him, and uh, should feature you pretty well. And I'll cue you. Uh -huh. And when I cue you guys, just come out like this, just ahead of him. You'll walk right past him. Walk down like this. I've already been born once and quite sufficient. I'm sorry, but I simply am too busy. Good morning, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How did we do? Yeah, come on, Jason. What's the official critique? Well, I, I mean, you were 
this is the classic thing you didn't actually uh, trip over when you went down the stairs, which was pretty good, and I didn't trip over you. Right. And uh, I wasn't clear about your motivation, though. I mean, where <laughs> were you going? What were you doing? Oh, I was busy on my way to Sector 15, you see? Yeah? <laughs> oh, really? I'm just making it up. <laughs> <laughs> you were great, though. <laughs>